What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule. Last review about pudding, I promise. Pudding. But hey, we, we bought 12 pudding. We bought $40 worth of pudding. We gotta, have, we gotta stretch it out to three reviews. So I hope you enjoyed the bonus on Thursday. Today we are getting twisted with our pudding, which is apparently very similar to getting chopped with our pudding. But it's Heath, Kit Kat, Reese's, and Hershey cookies and cream. That sounds like maybe the strongest lineup. Certainly sounds a lot stronger than the twisted line. Oh wait, chopped right. lineup. Right. The fact that it's not Reese's pudding that probably puts it over the top. It's just. Oh biblical. thank God. Yes. Oh thank God, Ryan. Thank you for saying that because I did not notice that and I was really not looking forward to Reese's. Let's start with Reese's this time for the first time. Okay. It's our last Reese's themed pudding review. However, remember, Ryan astutely pointed out, all four of these puddings are exactly the same on this particular twisted themed review. They're all a vanilla pudding. And by licking the lid as we were opening these up, <laughs> I can tell you the vanilla pudding is really good. Now Reese's came in fourth out of four last place on both capsule countdowns so far. However, the reason was the peanut butter pudding. It just wasn't right. It wasn't Reese's. This is pieces of actual Reese's cups <laughs> broken up and put over what we already know to be a good vanilla pudding. So if this comes in last, I don't know what it's to cursed. say. It's, it's cursed. cursed, yes. All right, let's see. Reese's is one of my go-to like crush-ins mm -hmm. at like a, an Amy's ice cream type of place. You know, you have the nice salty, peanutty, it just tastes like a Reese's. However, it does come off a little plain. It sure does. It's not crunchy enough. Mm -mm. A little mushy. It's all mush. It's a Reese's. It is, but it's not even a, like the hard part, the hard outer part of a Reese's. It's more like just all soft. Yeah. Man. So we still oh, haven't lucky. absolutely nailed it, but this is definitely the best. Look, yeah. if you're going Reese's versus Reese's versus Reese's, or Reese's as you accidentally said <laughs> earlier, Ryan, I'm, I'm calling you out. Don't tell them. But, um, as, as far as colliders go, this is the best Reese's. Mm -hmm. So that's Not one thing we can say about Twisted. I guess we should go Heath next. Okay. Let's do it. Next up in our Twisted line is Heath. So all these have the vanilla pudding base. I guess as far as like why it's called Twisted, are you supposed to like twist it together? Like AKA stir mm -hmm. these pieces in? <laughs> Instead stirred. of just draping it on top like the chopped ones? Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to stir it in. I want it to be a, a topping, though. See, I'm twisting. I didn't You're, you know. are I've twisting. Been stirring. You've been twisting. <laughs> I've been no, twisting. it's not called stirring. It's called <laughs> twisting. You are twisted. Yes. And you're twisting your pudding. All right. Let's see. It's got your grunge reactor. Mm hmm. It's a better fit with the vanilla. It's just a better fit. Yeah. It's a, it just, it's got more balance to it. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm not going to review 12 puddings again, <laughs> but I had to do it. You guys know me by now. I had to do it. It's all these candy brands as pudding. Somebody had to save these things. I just, I don't know how else to say it, but I think we're really going to end on a high note. We got Kit Kat and Hershey cookies and cream left. Mm -hmm. Let's go Kit Kat next. And uh, let's see, let, let, let's see where, where the flavors really start to peak out. And then we're gonna do a mini capsule countdown of the Twisteds. And then we're gonna talk about the three best flavors that we encountered, one, one of, from each category. And tell you, if you wanna just do one pudding, like a, like a normal person, which one it should be. Okay. So we're getting into Kit Kat here. Ryan off camera, we were kind of talking. One thing that you really have to say about this, and maybe it's because the candy comes first. 
It's a Hershey product. This candy is fresh, it's delicious, it's not soggy, it's not stale, it's not weirdly chewy. Any of the negative things that could come with throwing, uh, you know, refrigerated candy on top of some pudding product that you might expect. Look, I think it's throwaway candy. Here's the thing. I always refrigerate my Hershey chocolate no matter what. No matter what brand it is, I Hershey just think bag. it's better. I think it's better refrigerated. I think Kit Kats are better refrigerated. Hershey bars, Reese's Cups. Uh, I mean, maybe not a Heath bar. That might be a little too... A little too intense, but they did a great job in that regard. Now, the question is, how's this? I mean, Kit Kat, that's a high bar already. Like, you're just setting yourself up for failure if you can't really execute on a great pudding, because Kit Kat is just great. Mm -hmm. I think it could be the winner, but I haven't tasted it yet. All right, here's the problem. Ryan, I think you might know where I'm oh, going. I know. It's chopped too fine. Mm -hmm. It's not reminiscent of a Kit Kat. They just chopped and chopped and chopped and chopped. It's like it should have been. Twisting. It's like it's like yeah, I know. It's the it's like the the end result of a slap chop for like forty of the different uh, pulls of it. Like this is um. It's it's almost more like sawdust than it's like Kit Kat. Kit Kat is a soft. Yeah, it's kind of soft. Dude, it is a wafer. And when you refrigerate it, it's got some good texture. The thing with this is like, the pieces are just microscopic. Yeah. I mean, the Kit Kat itself, I'm sure is fine, but they needed to chop it about 12 times less. Mm -hmm. Like, I can take a little, I can take a little chunk of, of wafer and chew it with my pudding. It does not need to be just relentlessly diced. This was a twisted idea. I don't like this. This has just been crazy. So many that shouldn't have been that good were, and so many that should have been really good weren't. It's just an unpredictable... You need a review for this. Whether you like it or not, this is a very utilitarian review. Last but not least, Hershey Cookies and Cream. I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. Okay, so it's 12 out of 12. It's the 12th day of Christmas. <laughs> Hershey cookies and cream, twisted pudding. We learned our lesson with Kit Kat. We don't want things really, really finely chopped. The one thing that is abundantly clear looking at this pudding is the pieces of cookie are about triple the size as they are in the bar. Now, while that may not lend itself to accurately capturing the Hershey cookies and cream flavor, I think as a pudding and as something to twist into your pudding, this could work out really, really well. Let's see. Well, see this twisting method. <laughs> it's the first time it's I've twisted. It's mm -hmm. Cookie pieces are a little soft. Not a lot. They're not like chips. They're not like chips. But like they are kind of like chips in the in the candy bar. Like they're harder pieces. In the candy bar they are chips. In mm. this they're ground up pieces of Oreo. Mhm. Mm they're too soft. Not bad. A little bit too soft. But the flavor is good. Mhm. Mm it's a good cookies and cream pudding. It's not a good Hershey cookies and cream pudding. Mhm. Mm I think that's the issue here. I could have not predicted this capsule countdown mm. if you paid me. So let's get into it. Capsule countdown today is maybe the least predictable that we've ever experienced. We both thought it was the exact opposite order of what it ended up. And then we both totally flip-flopped. So this is a vetted opinion. Fourth place is Kit Kat. I can't believe I'm saying that because before we started, remember, Ryan, I said out of all 12, it might be the best. Turns out, it's maybe one of the worst. Not the worst, but certainly out of the twisted. It is fourth place. I'm going to give it a four and a half out of ten because I do like the vanilla pudding. I just, I, I saw what was possible. This should have been a nine out of ten product. So, you know. 
got to dock it down a lot, a lot of points. Uh, but yeah, fourth place on today's Caps Countdown. And uh, what did I say, four and a half out of ten? That's about right. It's half as good as what it should have been, so that makes sense. Uh, Hershey Cookies and Cream, look, it's fine as a cookies and cream pudding, but there's nothing Hershey Cookies and Cream about it. The cookies were too soft, and the cream was just vanilla pudding. So it just didn't really work as well as it should have, but it was okay. I mean, as a dessert, I would eat it again, but I wouldn't necessarily eat it knowing that there's a lot of better puddings out there. <laughs> so, 6 out of 10, third place on today's Caps Countdown. Our best performing Reese's so far, very low bar, but best performing. It's going to be the Twisted Reese's. Hey, this is one case where they finally gave us what we wanted. They got rid of that horrible, I mean, not even horrible, but that inaccurate peanut butter pudding base, and they replaced it with a pretty solid vanilla base. They gave us actual pieces of crushed up Reese's, and it did work. It was very tasty. Eight out of ten, second place on today's Capsule Countdown. The winner today is going to be Heath Twisted. And Never look, this is just coming. one. This is just one case where texturally it was dominant. The pieces were just so crunchy against a nice smooth pudding, and the flavors did not get lost. None of the flavors got lost. Everything got a chance to shine. Taste the chocolate, taste the toffee, taste the vanilla. Really solid, great combination. Eight and a half out of 10. First place on today's Caps Countdown. However, because we just reviewed all 12 in one sitting, even though you guys have been watching it over the course of eight days, I'm going to crown the champ. And I'm not going to consult with you, Ryan. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> but I think the champ is the mounds layered mm. because having the... Dark chocolate and coconut pudding together was so unique and so different. I believe I gave this a 9 out of 10. I'm going to stand by that. So there's no 10 out of 10 products. None of these are just lights out, shut down, this is the best. There are some close ones. I mean, the Heath one and, uh, you know, the York one, the, um, the Hershey, even the Hershey milk chocolate one. But this one... I think it was the most unique flavor, and it didn't need the add-in. You know, it just, it tasted kind of like a Mounds, and also kind of like different enough to justify creating a whole separate product. So, this is the, this is the king. This win, this wins the ultimate capsule countdown of pudding, the pudding tournament, the $40 pudding lockdown of 2021, won by... Mounds, Colliders, Layered. So this is one of the harder flavors to find. I've noticed like at Kroger, they carry nine flavors and I haven't really seen this around too much. But um, look, I found I found these at, at a Randall's, which is Albertson's owned, $2.99 a pack. I do not recommend buying all 12, but if you want to try a couple, it's a fun thing to try. It's not an overly committal thing. You get two little packs of, of, uh, of pudding and and then you're done. Right, so even if you don't like it, you you don't have a lot to to contend with. Now, uh, let's uh, look. Well, I guess gimmick. We're gonna just stick with an eight out of ten on the line of twelve. I like how deeply they committed to it. I didn't like that there were three different Reeses and three different Hershey's, and like they could have done more. They could have thrown in a Almond Joy. They could have thrown in maybe a Reese's Pieces. They could have thrown it. You know, like they could have they could have used other products. And they, they chose not to. Maybe a score? <laughs> yeah, that would be something. Uh, Fifth Avenue? A whatchamacallit? A whatchamacallit Whoa. pudding. Why didn't I go there first? A thingamajig pudding or whatever it's called. Who's he wants it pudding? For our From the Archives product today, it's going to be something with Shaq in it because Shaq is featured prominently on our review next week. So this is a 1996 Kraft Handy Snacks cheese and pretzels container but most notably it features a usa basketball upper deck trading card from the dream team three and this one's got shack on it that's like that's the one you're going for yeah you know there's uh grant hill and scotty pippen and those guys but it's like reggie miller you want shack i mean this is the 
This is the this is the want Shaq Diesel, you know? It's a very generic card. I love it. I don't know why they bothered co-branding with Upper Deck on it. Look at all the players on the top here. That's just genius. This is just a really well-designed product. I really like... I like the box. I like the font. Look, when they try to make everything look like Saved by the Bell... I'm trying to think of a word that's, like, less offensive. Um... It just comes off very fake and disingenuous, and I hate it. I hate that. I've grown to hate that aesthetic because the 90s just didn't really look like that that much. But in this case, they did. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I do really love this, but the reason why I included it is next week, next Monday, we're not doing any special Thursday reviews. We're done with puddings. So next Monday, we're coming back with two new cereals, and one of them is Frosted Flakes Cinnamon Basketballs featuring Shaquille O'Neal. One is a, for some reason, a Ghostbusters cereal when apparently there isn't even a new movie coming out. And one of them is a fruity cereal-flavored generic Oreo, Kroger Kaleido. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a great review next week. I'm looking forward to eating something other than pudding. And of course, until next time... I will miss you until I see you.